Well, good morning, my lovelies. And welcome to quite a bright, fairly sunny, quite mild, a little bit breezy. Sunday morning, I hope you're all well. <laughs> well, can't believe how calm it is at the moment. Yes, we've got a bit of a wind, but it is it is relatively calm at the moment. Apparently, later on today, we're supposed to be having Storm Isha, Aisha, whatever her name is. She's supposed to be coming. Um, they're going to cop it more up north, and then we just might just get the brunt of it. You know, the sort of the back end of it. Um, but that's what we seem to be getting just lately, isn't it lovely? Winter storms. I mean, back when I were a kid, in the olden days, <laughs> I don't remember having as many storms as we have been having, or, you know, over the last few years. I don't remember that many storms. I do remember Michael Fish saying, oh, a lady rang up and said there was a hurricane coming. No, it's not on our charts. And then what happened, the hurricane came and just caused mass devastation. Um, poor bloke never lived that there. But yeah, generally, we never had as many storms as we do now. We do get an awful lot of storms and it just seems to be one after the other. Well, we only had one a few weeks ago. Uh, well, about a week ago. Hank, I think its name was. That came and caused a bit of trouble. But I'm afraid that's how we are at the moment. I don't want to get on the global warming bandwagon because, to be honest with you, I do think it's done to death and nobody's listening. However, what I will say is, yeah, <coughs> the world is changing and particularly the weather. The weather is changing. We're getting more warmer and wetter than we are like a proper winter you know like snow and ice and things like that we are getting warmer warmer and wetter and to be honest with you i'm not too sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing um i mean <laughs> depends how you want to look at it i mean In the summer, you know, it's not so bad. We have quite hot, dry summers. Um, and I think as time goes on, that may get worse because it will get to the time where we'll be having droughts, long droughts every summer. And then come winter, we're getting battered by storms and torrential rain and flooding. And I think that's how it's going at the moment. And I know everybody bangs on and says, oh yeah, it's global warming. It's the way us humans treat the world. It, it probably is, it probably is. But the way I think of it is, Earth has a cycle we've had. We've had ice ages, we've had, you know, scorching hot periods in our time. We've had very wet periods in our time. Um, and I think that's the way the world works. It has a pattern and it follows it. However, what I will say is, it's not just us at the moment that live on the planet that's caused the problem I do think it's some of it is man-made and I do think some of it comes back to the Victorian era when the Industrial Revolution kicked in and we belched out all that smoke and God knows what else into the atmosphere um, I think that's contributed to it 
look at the size of that molehill. Christ on a bike, he's been busy. Loads around here, loads of balls. Um, but yeah, we don't exactly help at all. You know, with our with our cars and our plastics and cutting down trees for wood and paper and cardboard and things like that. Um, and I think at the moment, within the society that we live in, that is something that we are not going to not, not address, um, not cure either. Oh, I'm lost for a word. <laughs> It's something that we're not going to eradicate, that's the word. We're not going to eradicate that kind of thing. You know, plastic bottles, tin cans, um, cardboard paper. We're not going to eradicate that. Fossil fuels, emissions, because currently at the moment, that is how our planet works. That's how us as human beings work. That's what we need to survive on. And it's, it's something, if we want to eradicate that kind of thing and live a more clean, pure life, it's something that the human race are, on a whole needs, we all need to do it, not just the odd few, not just the eco warriors, not just those who are concerned about the state of the planet, not just those who think I'll jump on the bandwagon it's flavour of the month, that'll make me look cool, hip and trendy. Everybody needs to do it. Everybody needs to live a more sustainable, a more recyclable life. It's, it's something that's got to be done sooner rather than later because we don't want to get to the point where we think, you know, Earth's on its last legs and if we don't do something about it, that's it, the human race is gone because by that time it's too late. We, we need to do something now. Otherwise, we're not going to have a, a, an Earth to live on. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to happen in my time. And I don't think it's going to be happening in my children's time. It may start in my grandchildren's and my great-grandchildren's time. But we shouldn't be letting it get to that stage. We should be doing something about it now. Not when it's too late. Not, you know, not shut the stable door after the horse has bolted. We should do it now. Because it does sadden me to think that this beautiful planet that we live on, with its pockets of wildlife, and nature reserves and woodland and trees and beautiful things like that, even gardens. I do, I do think that would be absolutely catastrophic if we lose stuff, stuff like that. Come on. We shouldn't be contained to pockets of rewilding areas and corridors of wildlife. We should be we should have plenty of places where we and wildlife can flourish together and not destroy it just for some greedy gain, just for some, just for somebody to lie in their pocket with a building that will stand empty until somebody decides that they're going to use it.
yeah and I said I wouldn't jump on the environmental bandwagon because I don't think I have any any room to talk I'm no expert I only talk about what I see and this is what I see woodland meadows birds, wildlife. This makes me happy. This is life. This is, this is, this is a place that I'm happy in. Not just here, but any kind of reservoir, you know, nature reserve, woodland, anything like that. This is where I'm happiest. This is where I can think where I can contemplate, where I de-stress. If this was to go, and we were living in concrete tower blocks, in a concrete jungle, dealing with air pollution, and waste, where would we be? a very very sad human being living in a very very sad human race and that my lovelies is a rant for today <laughs> all because we've got another storm coming so I'm sorry if I've bored you I'm sorry if I've got on my soapbox but sometimes things like this need to be said things like this need to be made aware of go home and we're going to go and do some jobs around the house and we're going to cook a dinner. So lovelies. Wherever you are in the UK, please be safe today if the storm does turn. Oh, she's got a friend. The little one. Come on, leave the little one alone. Um, yeah, just be safe today if that storm does arrive on your doorstep. Uh, from me and Miss Wu, we're going to wish you, <coughs> oh stop barking, a very blessed Sunday. Do look after yourselves lovelies and remember if you're struggling please reach out because there's always somebody there that will help you. Look after one another lovelies because it is important and if nothing else in this world Please be kind, because you don't know what that other person's going through that stood next to you. And as always, from me and a woo, we're going to send you all much love and many blessings.